Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about decluttering and my thoughts in general about decluttering. I wouldn't say that I'm passionate about it right now, but I have this attachment to it where every time I feel like I wanna watch something, something to soothe me, something to keep me busy, like it's my first thought, I watch declutter videos. But we're gonna be talking about it in various different areas, types of decluttering, reasons for decluttering and YouTube decluttering. By YouTube decluttering, I mean videos on decluttering. So if you don't know what decluttering is, it's basically when you look into a collection of any sort, things of your belonging and you downsize. Basically ridding your collection of things that have no place or value to it any longer. And I find that most declutters happen this time or during spring when people do spring cleaning. So you're gonna see a lot more decluttering happening within the YouTube community when it comes to people that actually do decluttering videos. I think I've reached a point in my collection where I feel like if I start decluttering items, I'm gonna be decluttering items that I actually love for the sake of decluttering and I'm not gonna do that. I don't believe in that process for myself but I do know that some people have tremendous amounts of makeup and so they give themselves a number because they know that regardless of the reason it is just an overwhelming amount of makeup for one person. I feel like generally with decluttering people declutter to either downsize or to make room. I am of the type that declutters to get rid of. I've downsized my collection so much and it is the process that I'm still trying to get through and make Make tougher decisions because it's so much more condensed but I know that there are items that I still I still can get rid of I guess now it's weeding out the am I using this because I like it and I can't rid myself of it but I know I can live without it as opposed to items that are like, I legit, I love this thing. And if it ever goes away, I would repurchase it. However, there are also people that downsize so that they can replace. Maybe they have a set limit of items that they will like, an allotment, if you will. And in order to try something new, they must get rid of something else because a lot of us, again, not all, a lot of us though, a lot, a lot of us, in the like beauty, I don't wanna say industry, but the beauty community. We know we buy more than we will ever finish in our lifetime. And I'm not gonna comment on whether or not that's okay. I wouldn't want someone to tell me what's enough to each their own. But doing decluttering where you know that this is how much you can have reinforces the idea that we need to keep it to a manageable amount so that things don't go overboard and we're collecting as opposed to just using. Now, some people do collect makeup. That is their choice of happiness, the most satisfaction. And I would say that at one point that was me. It's not where I am right now, but I understand the mentality of people who choose to collect because in everything that they do, all the stressors in life, it's the one thing they can come home to and it's like, yes, everything's all right in the world. And people can call that what they want, materialistic, whatever, but if it's someone's own comfort, it's their way to deal with the life stressors, then come on. You know what I mean? I'm of the opinion that if people are finding ways to make them happy and it doesn't affect other people, then leave people be. Now we're gonna talk about decluttering as a person who actually makes YouTube videos. And it's interesting because I feel like decluttering, it's always been a part of the you know beauty community, but more so I think that since people are more conscious of their purchases, consumerism, wanting to make use of what they have, decluttering has been on the up and up. And a depiction of that will be these bigger influencers making decluttering a part of their channel, which was, which is not a common thing, I don't think. And here's why I think people do decluttering videos. I'm just gonna put this one out there. I'm gonna say it for saying sake. Declutter, a declutter video is content. It's just content that you can put out point blank period, call a spade a spade, it's content. That's why people make decluttering videos. It's content and it's content that people watch. If you're just gonna sit there and figure out your collection, you're in your jammies, why not film it and put it up for other people to enjoy? And if you make money on YouTube, hey, it's the money in your wallet. 
Call it what it is. So let's put the obvious but not said out there first. Next, if you've ever done a decluttering video, you know that you're sitting in your room or in your makeup room and you are trying your best to be as sane as possible. So I feel like it's um, a way that some people use so that they're not as stressed or as nervous because there's interaction that's to be had in the future when you upload it. So you just kind of, you're kind of maintaining a, a, a sort of personality on camera. So you're not going crazy at the fact that you're getting rid of makeup because it can be a stressful process. So filming in the process kind of tones everything down because emotions can run awry when you don't want to do what you're about to do. In addition to that, it's boring sometimes. You're sifting through makeup, you got stuff in the background, but it's like, oh, I'm here by myself. And it's technically like cleaning. So who really enjoys cleaning? I know some of us do, because I actually enjoy decluttering. But you know, if you have a big collection and it's this, this whole day fiasco that you got to go through, it's a way to just like interact, have some sort of interaction, even if it's with a camera. I know that we don't think of it as a camera, but technically in the moment it is. Like right now, I'm just talking to a camera. The last one that I thought of was accountability. And not so much to account yourself for a certain number that you said you would get rid of, but more so the accountability of you saying, I'm gonna get rid of this and holding true to that. If you put it out into the universe, you can't go back to that stash and be like, mm, maybe not this one. Now I'm guilty of not following this rule two or three times in you know my past declutters, but if I'm looking at it as a whole, I'm not like, you know, putting back in all the 50 things that I got rid of. So putting it out into the universe is like, okay, we said we got rid of this, hold true to the plan. Now I do make declutter videos, but I would say more than anything, I love watching declutter videos. And with that, I do see the interactions between the creators, content creators, and the people in the comments, the viewers. We've done this forever, you know, disclaimers. And sometimes I feel disclaimers should be had, but it's like, is it really for some of these types of videos? Do we really need to put a disclaimer for these things? The first disclaimer that a lot of people make on declutter videos is, I will not be sending this out to people I don't know or to my subscribers or to my viewers. And I get these comments too, where people are like, man, I don't have that big a collection and I wish I could. And I don't know. I don't know how to phrase this. It's not that I don't feel for people if this, if it's truly what they mean. Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I think, you, I can't help but think that some people are just trying to get makeup whichever way they can. It's not that I don't feel for the people that ask for them, but it's like if someone wanted to donate the makeup and put it out there. Hey, some of this makeup I'm willing to give to you guys. I'm gonna do a giveaway, so on and so forth. If content creators, if that's their intention, they would say it. And if they don't want to give it to their subscribers and, and some people get petty about it, why? Why are you getting petty about it? If, if they are the ones that purchase the makeup, I think they should be the ones to determine what happens to it past their collection. And so instead of it being a disclaimer or, you know, having these back and forths in the comments, like people, just let it be what it is. If they want to give it away, they will give it away and they will let you know. But if not, then like, leave it alone, leave it alone. Come on. Another thing is the comment. Guys, I watch a lot of declutter videos, so I read through these comment sections. The comment of, uh, this is not even like a good declutter. And what they mean is, this is not a big declutter. Decluttering doesn't mean you declutter everything you have. It doesn't mean you get rid of 50%. It doesn't mean that we're gonna look at 100 palettes and I'm gonna get rid of 40. Those declutters are exciting. Yes, they are, but they are not. <laughs> 
the makeup of what a declutter is. So when I read comments like, what kind of declutter is this? Uh, duh, it's a small declutter. That's what it is. Or they would say like, oh, I sat through this whole thing and you only got rid of four. I usually think that people make you aware, you know, cause we got to put these disclaimers in the declutter videos. Like this is not going to be a huge declutter just so you know. And then people watch the whole video and then complain about it. Why? Why didn't you click out in the first place? I don't get it. And so those are just kind of some qualms I have with some of the comments in declutter videos. And these are not comments that I've seen once or twice. Okay. I think people who do declutters are aware of these types of comments. Sometimes, you know, I just don't know. I don't like to watch declutter videos that aren't massive, that aren't huge declutters, that aren't 40 minutes long. Those are not the types of declutters I watch, but I'm not gonna write a comment and complain about it. Go watch someone else's video and make a positive comment instead of spending your time writing a negative one. Call me what you want, but I think that if you feel like you are adult enough to comment onto something, there's a difference and a very noticeable difference. I'm pretty sure we can distinguish between having a negative, nasty comment and being constructive. There's a difference. And as adults, I think we can differentiate between the two. And so before you start typing, make sure that you're choosing the right one is what I'm saying. Cause I myself in any form, not just declutter videos in any form of videos, I take in constructive criticism. If it's a way to make things better or just to take it in uh, for future reference, I don't mind that, but some people are just, it's like, petty stuff and then they get really nasty about petty stuff. That can be a whole video about comments and being nasty and too overly sensitive and you know, yeah. But this is a declutter video so we're gonna end it here because those are my thoughts on decluttering. So those of you who make content happy decluttering if it's part of your holiday season playlist videos to come. For me I don't think that will be the case but I will be looking forward to yours. Trust me. If you enjoy this video and have not done so already, I hope you decide to click on the red subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. Guys, I'm filming in front of a window because your girl did not want to set up them lights. If you guys enjoy this makeup look, go ahead and head over to Instagram. First link in the description box down below. There you will find a photo of this makeup look along with a list of products and the caption. I almost lost that train of thought, but I grabbed it. I snatched it back and said, we're not going to redo this. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for joining me until the next video. I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. <laughs> Bye guys. Want to know a secret? I just had an almond roca before I filmed this and I didn't even check if I had chocolate or nuts stuck in my teeth. That can be very wrong. That would be wrong if you got nuts stuck in your teeth either way literal or figuratively. Annabelle, shut up. <laughs>